So let's create this uh, justified image gallery that always centers uh, one image and the rest they kind of overflow. So this is a little bit uh, more advanced because we use the swiper.js library to uh, modify the default basic gallery element that comes with element of free into this design. So let's create this. So the first thing we will want to do, let's first set up uh, the section and the column. So under the section, you will want to set the content to full width and, uh, and padding and margin if you want, but that's not uh, required. In the column, you will want to set the horizontal align to space between. This will be for the left and right arrows that we will be adding. And uh, this you will want to set to zero. Uh, this is for the same reason. So if you want to spice out your elements in your section, uh, just use some padding and, and margin. Then you will uh, go get the basic gallery. So it's this element here. Let me zoom in a bit. So, and uh, and just add it to your page. And then you just add the images as you normally would. Uh, set the image size to full and columns to one. And then under advanced, give it the class name, uh, the CSS class justified gallery. So that's, uh, that's all you have to do technical wise uh, for the most part. And then you will go in my article. Let me refresh to get the, the good version of the code. You will simply come here and you will copy everything. And then you will add an HTML element right below your uh, gallery. And then you will go in and you will paste uh, everything. So I made it so that the uh, only two values you are likely to uh, change are uh, right at, at the top of the code. So if you want to change the height of the swiper, here it's set to 600 pixels. So if you want to change this, uh, you can do so here. And you can also set this value in a VH if you want. If you want this to be like full screen, we could set 100 VH. And then this, uh, I have a small comment here. So it needs to be off of this value, but uh, in, a, in a negative. So let's, let's go with this. All right, uh, everything else you don't really have to uh, care about. And then the only other thing would be to, uh, to add the navigation. So first let's just have a look what, what it looks like now. Let's refresh. And then let's have a look here. So the code, as you can see, the, the code is kind of automatically transforming uh, this bunch of images uh, into the, the slider. So we can see it works just fine. Now uh, the Im images are large and I'm zoomed in quite a bit. So uh, we don't get the very nice effect th that we have when, when it's uh, uh, on larger screens or, or when the height was set to less. But still we can see it's, it's working exactly as it should. So Let's, uh, let me zoom back in a bit. Uh, let me set this back to 600 and this to 300. Uh, I think it's a bit better for demonstration. And now we will add the navigation. So you will need to use this uh, swipe right and swipe left. 
and that's the the cool thing about this design is that you can choose what what you want your icons to be so you, you can really use anything and um, we will use something uh, simple so we will just use the icon element and then we'll uh, look for the let's say we want this is pretty much the same as what comes by default with uh, the swiper elements so we will use this one instead then you go under advance you add swipe left you can see the CSS already applied so you don't have to care about the positioning except to change the width to inline and then you can duplicate it so this is the duplicated version let's use the right arrow and then it's also set to inline and if you go have a look here it's already there and why maybe you're wondering oh, how come it already got right I didn't set anything and it's not in the code this is the setting from the column that we changed earlier uh, it's the space between settings so because there are only two elements on this line it, it occupies the the whole uh, uh, the space between is essentially all the spacing so this one needs to be named uh, swipe right so then let's update let's refresh and let's uh, zoom out a little bit so now we can see we have the buttons we have everything uh, we can still drag and to skip but we can also click a and it works just fine so you might have noticed there is a small kind of uh, uh, overlay this is for accessibility purposes so I suggest you you leave it there but if if you really don't want it uh, you can find the CSS easily it's you just have to remove the uh, focus CSS and, and this will go away you, you set the outline to zero and it will go away but uh, generally it's quite recommended to keep these there the only thing is if you want to remove this little kind of empty space there then you just have to uh, uh, the only way is pretty much that to, uh, to not have any padding or, or margin and then uh, at least it will be uh, more square like now so that's pretty much it and now of course one of the thing is that it doesn't look great in the editor uh, it occupies a lot of space so when you've got everything ready you checked uh, on the front end that everything was uh, working fine and and perfect and, and you're kind of done with this design in the code you copied copied from my uh, code snippet I added a class that's called ready and when you add this class it to to the gallery it will hide it but just from the editor and you can also add it to the uh, buttons and now uh, what will happen is that they won't show up but only in the editor so it won't occupy like a lot of space because your gallery is I'm messing up the whole design in the editor but if you look in the on your page it's still showing up uh, just fine so I hope this was helpful and let me know with uh, any questions and if you could subscribe I would really appreciate it it, it means a lot to me all right thank you